This is Q13 News at 11. Some expensive equipment stolen from a local business. The images police and the owners want you to see so you can help track down the suspects. And it has been a struggle for a lot of commuters all weekend long with construction snarling traffic and even tonight it continues. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marnie Hughes. And I'm David Rose. Between Revive I-5 and the partial viaduct closure, many people have been trying to find some different ways to get around, but at least the weather <laughs> has been cooperating. Let's take a live look outside tonight. Clear skies. Just a gorgeous evening. A little chill in the air if you want to pick on one thing. If you didn't get a chance to enjoy the sun this weekend, there is more warm weather on the way. Aaron Mayofsky is here tonight to tell us what the, the week looks like. Yeah, not a bad week on tap at all. In fact, no rain in sight. It is going to get crisp, cool, and uh -huh. cold overnight. We have a freeze warning to talk about, too. But first, let's get to some of those pretty pictures you were talking about. All right, as we get to the map to show you what's going on right now, Seattle, you can see this was taken earlier when the sun went down. You can see CenturyLink Field. Not a lot of traffic out there. Really pretty shot by Jose and North Bend weather sent us this said get out and hike Mount Sai because it was a perfect day with lots of blue sky out there and a gorgeous mountain to head up it takes about three hours for some if you're a little faster and then a quick hour down.